What is the Matrix? Welcome back to a brand new video of the Targeted Individual Program, Targeted Individual Experience. Uh, I talk about how they, um, you know, since I put in any game that I play online, they will target me. They will send people in, into the, particularly if it's a multiplayer game and such. But I want to show you guys when I'm playing a game solo, meaning that it's not multiplayer, how they program the NPCs of the game to engage in certain types of things, certain types of targeting. And again, uh, psychological conditioning or cursive persuasion programs are built into games, right? This is just as how out in the real world they have people engaging in psychological manipulation, whether it be through media, uh, social media platform, um, news media outlet, movies, television, so forth, right? And even within your community, churches and so forth. But I'm going to show you guys uh, certain things that NPCs does that I show you guys outside when I'm out and about, you know, doing what I need to do. All right. So just bear with me and I'm going to explain certain things. So this is the division two. All right. Let's uh, let's go. Now they're like, whew. Um, recognizing certain things and being aware of these things is is important. So I'm going to make you guys aware of how they use uh, how games are being used to manipulate your subconscious, your subconscious mind. Right, you basically your brain brainwash, and it's being done in such a way that. You don't even recognize it. Detected. Location guarded by heavily armed hostiles. Anything you can do to help would be appreciated. As soon as this is project finish, you are prepared to department outside using the sirens. Okay, uh, let me do this. I need to sell a couple of items. As I said, I need to sell a couple items here. Agent. Okay. Um, usually try to sell items that I don't really need or use. Uh, certain items I keep to donate just so uh, the NPCs that are on your side uh, can have more powerful weapons. Okay. They're not gonna like this one. <laughs> Let me tell you. They, but the funny thing is, um, you know, I think they well, not think. I know that they were. Uh, I was gonna do a video on this, and they knew it. And so, as I said, I know. Yeah. Yes, I know what's being done. Okay. And you cannot silence me through your threats. Uh, let's see here. I can get rid of that one. Oh, did you guys hear the, the fireworks? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm about to expose more of this shit. Keep telling them. They keep showing it to me. Well, you know, I'll tell you what my purpose was. Okay. 
<laughs> right? They expose this. They expose what it is that they're doing. But apparently, you know, because they got guns and badges and they're in positions of authority, you know, they think they can uh, do whatever they want. Well, I'm here to say, no, you can't. You can't try to pull that national security crap, try to make me feel like, uh, you know, it's treasonous. It's treasonous for you to engage in non-consensual human experimentation. That's treason. All right? It's treason to engage in using uh, 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 or doing what is called, again, cognitive warfare on the American public. That's treason. It's treason when you build weapons for mind control based on the radio frequency, microwave frequency, uh, electromagnetic spectrum, right? That's treason. Uh, so again, they'll always try to send you these subliminal messages to try to silence you from you not speaking up, okay? And, you know, hey, if other, if other countries see and understand what you're doing, then you cannot blame them for if they're doing the same thing too, all right? Okay, because again, you know, I always say when people in those positions feel that they can uh, manipulate the public without their consent, right? Basically doing psychological experimentation. Um, you know, this is what happened. Okay. All right, so let me, there is a, I got a, there is a, a mission I got to embark on. Um, let me see if I can get to sort of see how far it is. Okay, not that far. All right. So these are the NPCs that are on your side in the Division 2. Now, when I talk about certain targeting methods that they would use, I mean, having NPCs, uh, when they see you put their hands behind their head, right? Or walk in front of you in such a way that, you know, it's like um, a fixation drill. You, agent. Targeting all hostiles. I should have some NPCs. Where are they? No Alright, now the thing that I really don't like about this game is the fact that, you know, you have like these control points and uh, controlled by the hostile, so you'll take them over. And then when you um, end the game or leave the game, uh, those control points you, you took over goes back to um, the enemy NPCs. Now I just finished a mission <laughs> in this this same mission. You know, uh, actually not the same mission. The different uh, targets you gotta go and and neutralize, but um, actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to uh, do this mission. Let me um, let me go to the one of the control points. Okay. Out of supplies. 
Don't know how much longer we can last in our stores. You know, it's funny. <laughs> All right. I think I did a video where I talked about how, you know, when, if you look at the supplies, there's like zero, uh, zero waters. Um, these are your nuts and bolts. Right? They're low, right? And then they'll, the NPC will be like, oh, we are, we, 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 we are great. We are great on supplies. Thank you. You know, and I'm like, really? You guys are great on supplies? Supplies? <laughs> really? You hardly had any. Um, and, you know, like, like I said earlier when I was playing, and I realized that, you know, maybe something might have happened to where now the NPCs, when the supplies are low, um, it's, they basically say now, yeah, now we're running out of supplies and we need uh, supplies, all right? But anyway, this is just one um, control point. Um, let me go and let's see if I can take over another control point. All right. And uh, again, they, what they'll do, I think they have like different codes to where they can. Um, I don't want to equip that. Uh, to where they can change the behavior of the NPCs. You know. And one thing I noticed too is that they're very talkative now. Now they're having like conversations, whereas they never sat before with each other. Right? Usually when they see me, they're like, hey, agent, or uh, uh, thank you, agent, or what have you. But you see them actually have an actual conversation amongst each other. So that's, that's new. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm basically like, <laughs> I, guess I tell my kids whenever they're playing, particularly my oldest son when he was younger, he used to play like um, Call of Duty, all right? And he would just run into these battles and get killed all the time. I'm like, dude, you gotta slow down, man. You know, but the reason why I'm doing this is because I kind of level up my character. So my character is pretty powerful right now. Also, as long as I've been playing this game for almost two years, and I have never, maybe longer than that, maybe longer than two years, all right? And I have, oh, it's a uh, resource convoy. And I have never known that you can upgrade your weapons. Every time I would try to figure out how to upgrade weapons, couldn't do it for whatever reason also, I couldn't do it until recent I I think this week I learned how to <laughs> upgrade at least that 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 feature was activated right because where it says the I'll show you guys where it says um, watch upgrade so if I go here and I go here all right So now they give you points. Now I've never had this before, except until this week. So I don't know if this is, I don't think this is new, but I think what they do is again, um, try, they have, like I said, infiltrate the servers. A lot of these game servers have been infiltrated. And so, you know, I guess um, maybe they were doing a, maintenance and realize that hey something some, something ain't right here <laughs> you know so now i am able to um i should increase my reload speed uh actually let's, let's do handling all right and let's do uh let's do electronics all right, so I, like I said, I didn't know about all of this stuff <laughs> until this week. Okay, 
there's a control point, enemy control point, which I'm gonna initiate a takeover. these NPCs attacking the control point? <laughs> yes they are. Yes they are. Alright, so which is I, I like it when this happens like this when I um, get to a control point in particular the NPCs already uh, initiated a takeover so I can call in more uh, allies. Okay, and then they recently recently started doing this these kill confirms. Usually, oh shoot, I hate these things. All right, usually when I kill an enemy, right, they usually uh, give you uh, some form of uh, like resources, right? And uh, now they now they do this kill, these uh, kill confirms. They just actually they just started doing it this week, at least from the game I've been playing. I don't know about anybody else, but I know just this week they have been doing the. I've been seeing this the whole thing. At first I was like, "What the heck is it?" And then I realized that's what, that's what it is. Kill, it's kill confirmed. See, one kill confirmed. Now you collect the. Oh yeah, you about to blow up, girl. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Now. Uh oh. You hear the loud bang? Where y'all going? Damn. <laughs> Where the heck y'all going? Okay. See? Wait. Did these dudes disappear in here? Oh, they come back out. Come back out. There you go. Thank you. Oh, shit. Suicide bomb. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shoot. Yeah, it happens. Sometimes they'll, you know, they have like a sniper somewhere and that you don't even see. See, they, they, they know what I'm about to do. About to expose their stuff. <laughs> about to expose their shit. Now how the psychological condition is built into these games. Okay. Oh, there's somebody running behind me. Go. 
Now also, this is just not happening to in the game. Alright. So uh, whatever gunfire that is, just they just started doing this. It was never been done. This has never happened before. Okay. But again, they talk about ways and how they try to uh, do these subliminal threats. So once you guys know how you, infiltrated they are within the system. Let's look at some other challenges. All right, and then, then number 30. Look at that. The water bottle was on exactly uh, 32. They have 32 water bottles. And as soon as I notice that, I hear. <coughs> All right, so again, just showing you guys uh, exactly what it is that they do. Okay. Also, usually when I'm donating resources, like let's say I they they have a little resources, and when the resources get to like 50, they will do the hand behind the head uh, hand signal. All right. So they're not doing it now, but let's go to another control point, enemy control point, and take that over. See if I can show you guys an example. See they they're not behaving in the same way they used to behave, right? Except for you here and stuff like that, right? This is again. Okay, let's go to. Let's get one that's closer. All right, that's this lead control is going to this. Control point. Let's do this. Let's go and attack that elite patrol, and then we'll go to that control point. Oh wait, I forgot something. Where, where am I? There you go. I forgot something. And like I said, as a TI, listen, they will, they will try to play this game with you, uh, you know, of uh, uh, you being uh, sending a similar message, or you, you're scared and this and that. Nope. Well, if I was scared, and of course everybody gets scared, it just it, it is a part of uh, our psyche, right? Our emotions, we feel fear, right? Fear happens. Yeah, uh, you know, because they they also feel fear all right so don't think it's just you alone but um they try to make give you a false sense of confidence they try to play with your emotions particularly in terms of um you know trying to call you belittling names just just so that you can just so to try to make you uh aggressive right hyper aggressive and so you know, you just got you got to understand what's being done, how you, how they're manipulating your emotions, and not fall for it. Okay, you got to understand the reason why they do it because they want to get rid of you. Okay, remember I said everything is always planned. Nothing is by happenstance or chance or some uh, accidental occurrence or some coincidence. If you are a TI, meaning that you've been selected for a non-consensual human experimentation program, they have to do certain things, right, to make sure one that they can put you in the program okay and how do they do these things through covert manipulation covert psychological warfare and covert uh physical warfare okay also a covert chemical warfare right which is again uh illegal drugging all right using various methods and tactics okay this is all in their manual Okay. And you go and look at psychological operations. Go and go and read. Go and read about any program that deals with psychological operations or psyops, and you will understand. You have a better understanding of what was done to you. All right. So now, 
uh, two is to make sure that they can silence you, right? If you are manipulated into making a mistake that they feel that they can use to silence you about their manipulation of your mind, okay? Be it with a, uh, oh, have I been up? I might have, have been up here before. I'm always finding new things, let me tell you. The more I play this game, it's like I find new areas. Like I said, I've been playing this game for a while, okay? And, um, but then again, I might have been up here before, I just don't remember. You know, because sometimes I'm like, have I been here before? You know? <laughs> or I'm like, oh, I found a new place. And then, you know, a day or two later, I'm like, nah, I think I've been here before. But, um, anyway, as I was saying. And, three... All right, the manipul. As I said, three in here. Yeah, they got a fascination with the number three. All right, the number three, the number two, the number one, the number twenty-four, the number thirty-two, which is again the eight hundred and thirty-two billion dollars. I mean trillion dollars, not billion. <laughs> okay, and after trillion, trillion is what a gazillion. Okay, well, is that, is that number gonna keep going up? <laughs> um. So again, using what they've done to you to manipulate you, right? To si try to silence you. For if you are employed and you're working, to use your job as a tool to where if you speak about what it is that they've done to you, that you will get fired. You will get whitelisted, okay? You will not find employment again because of the white listening that was done to you. And you know the reason why I say white listening, because again, uh, it's not blacklisting. Black people Friendly don't run this behind. system uh, for we to blacklist anybody. It's white people. So that's why I call it white listening. White listening. Okay. All right. So let's get to this other control point and let's initiate a. Let me. Let me t initiate a takeover i should say let all right, well i guess the npc so let's do a takeover right um let's see if i can show you guys uh the example of what i'm talking about unless they reprogram the npcs which i suspect they did to behave differently okay no okay that's a friendly control point where was i Okay, right here. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I wandered off so far. Okay, let's do this. Let's go to the safe house. And... Children, mothers, fathers, grandparents, friends, family, all 
Okay. I've never seen them swarm me like this. <laughs> Holy crap. Usually, uh, yeah, I, I get to clear out a few enemies before. <clears throat> I attempt to um, hijack the speaker. The broadcast, I should say. Uh-oh. You hear, hear, hear the... Get the fireworks. Access key detected. Yeah, you think then they're trying to send me subliminal message, they're gonna throw everything at me for exposing them. <laughs> <laughs> like this because like I said I've never seen them send so much enemy at me just for um, you know the progress change the um, the broadcast so they are like wow see usually this is what happened you know those few enemies that I cleared out in the beginning before they start sending more enemies that would have been it and then after I, I um, override the broadcast, the override the speaker, um, then they will send in those enemy. And there's usually about four or five of them. But you guys saw how many uh, <laughs> they sent. It was quite a few. Okay. And then that's it. Okay. As I said, that's it right here. Yeah, every time, every time I do a video exposing them, this is what they'll do. I guess send these subliminal message. Oh, that's it. You know, particularly also when it comes to my disability. Uh, you know, the threat of taking my disability for exposing what it is that they're doing. But I am doing a public service. Okay, what they have done again is treason. When you, when you, when. when those within the government engage or the military or the the, the security um, agencies engage in such behaviors as opposed to uh, not opposed to as like brain brainwashing the public and using different means in different ways as i said as an example is with this game the division their con their program is their conditioning program is is built into this game. At least when I'm playing it. So I don't know. Maybe I might I might get I might have a different um, version, <laughs> you know, compared to everybody else, you know. But you know, I usually 
recognize certain things because again uh, I know how they target me online all right particularly within these particularly when it comes to online games all right and particularly when you first when I first started playing these games the NPCs never behave in such manner until I would say a couple a couple months I might be even a year into playing this game so that's to tell you how they'll you know that's how long they'll work to hijack the codes you know uh, hijack the um the code the game coding as i said the game coding i right hear oh yeah but like i said they can always say oh yeah he's crazy Hostile control point detected so they can they can use you know again that's the, that's the ammo that's how they operate right <laughs> when we as ti is exposing what it is that they're doing particularly those of us who um research and truly understand what's going on and uh that they cannot uh pull the wool over our eyes uh you know when we have um remove the curtains from over our eyes and can see clearly what it is that they're doing um you know they will try to silence you you know and uh, when you just continue to speak out they will do a lot of things to destroy your life or to make your life uh, uh you know as hard as possible okay and that's fine you know something that you know like i said that when, when it comes to the human spirit as much as they may try to break it as much as they, they may try to use coercive means right like rewards punishment you know the human spirit will never be broken it may be broken in some people okay but it will never be broken in others and you know they this is what they you know these people with these sort of uh mindset you know particularly those in power this is something that they seem not to realize this is how again when they engage in such behavior history tells us that the people will rebel okay and you think and they think because they've built uh, weapons based off again off of the micro and radio frequency spectrum to subdue our thoughts all right um, suppressing uh, certain things within our DNA uh, like for aggression you know it's funny how they want to do that to the to the public so then why is that because they are they know that there's not there's not going to be any more physical wars but the wars will be within the mind right that if you can control leaders through weapons that can control their minds or even destroy their cognitive ability right you don't need you don't need guns you don't need bombs okay this is what we tend to not understand this is why i've been doing the, the video on cognitive warfare and also neurocognitive warfare because we must understand what is being done shoot these guys shit oh, i'm about to die <laughs> okay oh come on oh wait did it shoot okay here we go i got npcs coming to to fight with me but they didn't get there in time here they go Waiting on you guys. Come on, let's go. Um, I took off noise reduction, so you guys might hear my breathing. But um, I had to do it because they, again they were using the uh, fireworks. Okay, again the, to simulate gunshots, right? Uh, the sort of threats. All right, let me. Launch my drone and I need my turret. Oh, see that? Somebody shoot me. Oh, he's over there. There you go. All 
Yeah, he's barbecue. So those are the leaders, the one I'm just shooting at right now, he's, he's one of the leaders. They're, they're hard to kill, they usually, um... See, they'll, they'll, uh, drop gold in, um... Resources. That is how powerful they are. And my character is pretty... <laughs> look, look, look. That's a, that's a leader right there. Oh, no, no, no! Shit! <laughs> wow. Yeah, they all look excited. All right. like about this this game is the control mechanism sometimes it is just like if you get your, your character positions around certain object is very it's very difficult to move your character and then the npc just just come in the damn way Very, this, this one here is very challenging. It gets like that sometimes. Come on. Oh shoot. Okay, good. All right. Come on now. There you go. Detecting. Now, you, met, you see how challenging that was? And I'm not even finished yet. There's more. They're sending. <laughs> They're sending a heck of a lot more. this if I don't do this as long as I have uh oh shoot uh, let's see here as long as I have NPC players alive I can always um 
I can always go back there. There you go. There you go. All right. There you go. As long as at least one of them is alive, I can always um, <laughs> fast travel back. Uh oh, so there's more. Okay. So. Oh shoot! I hope this thing is, didn't start over. Shit! Probably did. Damn it! So I think he just started back where the second wave was coming after you captured the control point. Then you have to defend it. Okay. Try to shoot that bomb in the chest. They are set. Wow. They, they are really sending a lot of them. Holy crap.
I can't rescue him because uh, he's right in that line of fire. If I do, I'm gonna get. They're, they're gonna kill me. So I gotta, I gotta wait. I'm trying. I'm trying. There you go. I'm trying to hit his explosive path. There you go. Explosive pack, then they try to out the flames, and uh, that's when you just lay it on fire. guys exactly what i'm talking about like i said they're, they're pretty slick though they move pretty fast particularly because again your microchips are the remote no monitoring you so they they know I'll, i want to do a video to show uh how this they changed the, the program code within the game npcs uh the friendly npcs so that they'll start targeting you Also, whenever I'm going down, they use the siren. Actually, no, uh, uh, they use the. When I'm going up, they'll use the. Alright. That's just to let you guys understand and know how I'm being targeted. Alright. Again, a big part of my targeting is Quinto Pro. Talk about the rise of, of what they call the Black Messiah. And again, it, it, you know, they're not taking any chance with any black person, particularly any black man, a young black man, uh, that they, if they cannot control you, they'll destroy you, right? And again, um, you know, you, particularly within the black community, we as black people, we don't see the significance and the importance of of ourselves other than when it comes to material things and the accumulation of material things All right so we're we you know we see we see those things as, as important but uh, oh he just did the palm fixation drill and hit the car honk you guys can go back and rewind the videos i was running past them you, you guys can see what i'm talking about just missed the two because it happened so quick me behind okay where is the control point officer there you go there you go <laughs> they were doing that every time i go to donate uh resources See, I knew I would, um, and as he did that. Thanks, Agent. This is exactly what we needed to let us focus on things. Okay. Um, all right, let's, uh, what is this here? Yeah, I try to collect as many resources as I can because you need it. All right, let's go to, I'm going to end the video soon. I just want to go to an area where, um, 
Let's go to the settlement here. As I said, let's go to the settlement. They always and lately they start doing that too. Whenever I start go whenever I go to the settlement, they will use the police sirens. supplies and could use some help. Huh. Okay. You're running low on supplies. I'm trying to give you some donations. But I guess not. Alright. Um no no do link them up. Hey agent, we're running low on a lot of things. Think you could lend a hand? Bro, what you need? What you need, bro? All right. Oh, which one? Excuse the. I have a boom arm, but you know this mic is very sensitive, and uh, it, you know even though I have noise cancellation, actually, if I lower the let's do this, maybe that might there you go, that's better. Um, lowering the volume, and uh, I'm getting closer to the mic. Uh, I did it. Still hear it a little bit though. That's okay. Um, all right, uh, let's see what I wanted to do here. All right, so as I said, I have I was never, ever, um, you know, all this year, actually, like I said, this week, a lot of stuff that I couldn't do in the game, I was able to do. Okay. And such as, um, where is that here? Let's go to, uh, let's see. Um, okay. I need to... Okay, I need to upgrade. Actually, let me see something. Let's do this. Here you go. Alright, so... Um... Uh-oh. What did I do? Yes, there you go. Um, yeah, when I was trying to upgrade my weapons, um, I was not able to until recently. Okay, um, it says donate all, uh, well, I'm not sure about that. Okay, like LMGs. All right. Not let me select. Okay, you do not have any elements to transfer into this. Uh, what elements? Okay, what do I need? Okay, 
So these are what I need. All right. Anyway, so as I was saying, um, I was never able to. Um, upgrade my weapons until okay now all right this weapon used to be higher um okay so i don't know what's going on here anyhow uh i guess that'll be it for the video all right just trying to show you guys again how the um program the npcs to do certain actions where again when I was donating resources at the control point every time I donate a resource the control point leader will do that same action okay and I, it doesn't matter I'll stop and then I'll donate some more every time I do it he'll do the same action particularly when it comes to like reaching a certain number you know he'll do that but um you know hey um again just like I said these conditioning mechanism is built into uh, a lot of these games okay so you gotta be careful and be aware and alert all right talk to you guys in the next video